So the Xiaomi 13 Pro has been an excellent phone for me, especially when it comes to stills. But something that people keep asking is, how is the video performance on the Xiaomi 13 Pro? And this is what this video is for, showcasing the video capabilities of the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So before we start diving into the results itself, I quickly want to highlight some parts about the capabilities. The max recording is 8K and 24 frames per second and then next to it 4K 30 frames per second if you have HDR on. If you have HDR off you can do 4K and 60 frames per second. However with HDR on you cannot zoom in or out technically from the main sensor to the ultra wide. This is something that I know is not a real issue but it would have been nicer if you had that capability. Then in terms of filters, there are some missing compared to stills and those stills are really fun to play around with and having all those filters would be amazing for video as well. However, you still have plenty on them. With that being said, I definitely missed the Filmic one. Either way, when it comes to video recording, let's showcase what it is capable of when it comes to the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Okay, normally not what I'm recording. It's 24 frames per second. You cannot zoom out. Zooming you can, but probably digital. Let's go back to. Point two. HDR off, that also allows me to then use the ultra wide and of course zoom in as well. Let's see 3.2, see if there's a quality change. Don't know, hard to say. Looks fine on the display. Now both of them are recording 8K 24 frames per second and don't support 30 frames per second. It is really windy by the way, just so you know.
Nou, of recording 4K, 30 frames per second. Let's see how they do with switch audio and so on. So, at the end, what do I think about the video capabilities of the Xiaomi 13 Pro? Well, there are some things that I want to note. One is, for instance, the filters. I would have loved to have those effects. I want to call them effects because it's more effect. I would say that it's a shame that I don't have all of them. But apart from that, it is really consistent and really good. When it comes to video recording as well, we still have the Android Jotter kind of effect. It's not a lot, but it's still visible in some cases. Of course, when it comes to video recording as well, having not the possibility to go from the main sensor to ultra wide when you are recording in 4K HDR, then it's a bit of a shame that I cannot use that ultra wide. Turn it off and you can easily switch to the ultra wide. And of course, what I really love is also having that capability to shoot with the telephoto in the way that the stills are. Having that really nice depth of field in it, where it looks like it's been taken with a high-end camera, like for instance that I'm using right now, is amazing. I really love that possibility. I love the style of it as well when it comes to Leica and Xiaomi working together on this phone. The video recording reflects what you can do in, of course, your stills. Now, I still prefer stills overall when it comes to playing around with the camera itself. But with that being said, video recording capabilities are excellent on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Overall, I really love this phone and I hope that this kind of helped with the capabilities of the Xiaomi 13 Pro when it comes to the video recording itself. Anyway, if you have any specific questions, let me know. And of course, uh, don't forget to check the link in the description where you can check our daytime performance, a little bit of low light performance as well, comparing it with, of course, the Vivo X90 Pro, which, however, I will do a separate video comparing authentic with, of course, vibrant as well, showcasing the different approach here. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and everything, uh, because I'm trying to hit 10K before the end of the year. Either way, have a good one and talk to you guys in the next.